turning pain into purpose. An Indianapolis woman is speaking out about her experiences with domestic violence, abusive behavior, and sexual assault. Well, she wrote a book in hopes of helping others who might be going through something similar. WRTV's Nico Panisi is live in studio with more. Nico, tell me a little bit about her story. Well, domestic violence hits really close to home here in Indiana. The National Coalition Against Domestic Violence reports more than 40% of Hoosier women and more than 25% of Hoosier men experience physical abuse, sexual assault, or even stalking in their lifetimes. From victim to survivor to thriver. I suffered abusive behaviors for 15 years, not realizing I was being abused. I was being emotionally, financially, sexually, and yes, even spiritually abused. In 2002, Renita Hills tells me she was nearly stabbed to death by her then husband. I woke up three days later in the hospital with 13 stab wounds. Four to my chest, two of them punctured both my lungs and they collapsed. Hills had to have reconstructive surgery on the left side of her face. Although the physical scars have healed, she says the emotional ones are everlasting. The unfortunate part about abuse and abusive behaviors is you feel alone. Rebecca Berry at the Domestic Violence Network, an Indianapolis-based advocacy group, says it's important victims feel supported. We recognized in 2020 when the pandemic started, rates of domestic violence shot up, rates of domestic violence and firearms um, incidents shot up, and we know that those domestic violence rates have not dropped. After years of her partner repeatedly telling her she wasn't smart, capable, or worthy enough, Hills persevered. She graduated with a bachelor's degree in communications from Radford University in 2007, and she even did it alongside two of her children. She got a 92 and I got an 87 on one of our tests, and I will never forget that. And I told her, you can't take tests with me anymore. Hills is the founder and CEO of Voice of the Victim, an organization which educates the community of the many facets and faces of domestic abuse and abusive behaviors. And now the advocate turned author is putting her experiences in writing. I don't want anybody to to ever believe there's no life after the abuse. That's where the second book comes in. It tells you the journey to get to where I am now. Her new book, I Didn't Know My Own Strength, is being released this month. Hill says her hope is that other victims will read her story and find hope. I would never have gone to see the president. I would never have been able to speak to General Assemblymen. I would never have been able to travel across different cities and states to tell this story had not been people around me to encourage me and me to say, I can do this. And if you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at that number there on your screen. We have a whole list of resources on our website, WRTV.com. Nika, thank you for that. As you shared those statistics, kind of alarming, 40% of women, 25% of men. So I think a lot of viewers might be able to learn from her and relate to this story. Definitely. And something she was saying is that people aren't aware of all the resources that are available mm -hmm. to them, especially even here in Marion County. I mean, we have Coburn Place, Julian Center. So there are plenty of places for folks to go if they're in need and, and need a helping hand.